Where's everyone going? Bingo. Why is Japanese games are awesome? Well, here's a shot of her around the world. All you black room boys salute when you're black on first. Guess who's back in circulation? Well, I don't know what you may have heard, but what I need right now is the original good time girl. Oh, she's the original cause, cause, cause. See the shiny sea, see the shiny sea. Yes, she's the original love and love. Show me your light, light, and your city lights. All right, I'm talking about the Yankee Rose. Light, light, and your city lights. All right, I'm talking about it. Yeah. We all have to remember the origins. The one video game company that did make a success in the old days was Nintendo. Like for example, Pac-Man first and then Nintendo. These games were the ones, including Super Mario, have led the way for future video game developers. And it's been continuing like that for nearly more than a decade. So far, nothing has changed. There was no woke during that time. There was no woke during the development of Call of Duty 2, Medal of Honor, what else games? Humble Rose, Dynasty Warriors, Resident Evil, Devil May Cry, etc. And also the first three GTA. There was no woke during that time, even though it did get black for promoting violence. You know how that works. But overall, Japan, Japanese made games, even today, survive the woke. When she walks, watch the sparks of And in, and in today, time of this upload on March, it is going to be one of the best selling games, perhaps predicted to be one of the best selling games. And also Japanese games are kicking ass at the start of the new year. New year is a bang for them. That's why you hear fireworks. Yes, some new game companies did invoke or perhaps they bend the knee like Sega or perhaps Bandai Namco. Now I don't know about Tekken 8 yet. I'm certain some of you have played Tekken 8 at the time of this upload. So. If you guys have played Tekken 8, have you seen Woke within those gameplay? Let me know in the comments. Evil Rose, I knew something wasn't right. Go home, Ray. Go. Oh! Wait, why should you give a damn? No, it can't be. Also, at the time of this upload, it will be one month before Stella Blade comes out on P on PS5 on April. And trust me, this month, Stellar Blade is going to have a hell of a pot. Another reason is that if you don't know that Japanese video game developers are known to make sexy women. I believe there's one developer, I don't know who his name is. He developed, I believe it's Bayonetta, who, if I have to recall, this guy loves sexy women. I have to assume this guy have seen sexy women in his life or have seen it before and he go on with it even though there was criticism but to this Japanese video game developers he doesn't care and that goes the same with the South Korean developer shift up he doesn't care if you don't know he mentioned that if you seen my previous video a few weeks ago he would have said that gamers focus mostly on the main character's back which I think that's what shift up CEO believe because I think he knows that players will try to oogling her or something I mean who wouldn't yes there are some minor changes like for example in remakes some parts or some places have to be cut but at least they did one thing right they didn't invoke whoa okay besides Sega okay we're not gonna touch on that
Another thing, this is one more before I, we get into the disadvantage. Another thing is that they give players what they want. They know what every gamers want and they don't copy their Western counterpart just to say, oh, this is something you want, so, so be quiet like that or something. No, the Asian or Japanese or perhaps games made in Asia knows what the games want or what gamers want. And I'm starting to see that there's some awareness which I hope Capcom doesn't bend the knee, but then again, they're playing both sides. Just try to appease both sides. But let's hope so. Now, comes the disadvantage. Now, the first one, this includes the remake. I'll give you, for example, Resident Evil 5. I believe they're still making it, although they're not going to be putting it out yet, but they're probably going to make Resident Evil Code Veronica first, which I'm going to have to make that into a separate video. Resident Evil 5 remake is going to take a nightmare for Capcom to make a remake because not only they have to get into just the controversy, because I think whoever made the remake, they are aware of the controversial topic of Resident Evil 5, the original one. So hopefully they don't invoke woke, but at least the bare minimum, they don't try to censor anything. One of the most controversial was Resident Evil 5, which was based in a fictionalized part of Africa and had you fight against zombies with dark skin. Yet the way SJWs reacted to this, it seems to imply that we can't have video games set in the continent of Africa because doing so is inherently racist. The most recent game I've played recently was probably Resident Evil 5. The bad guys in this game, which are all just Africans with spears, literal spears that they're uh, chucking at you. It's in Africa. It's been in Antarctica. It's been, I think, in Spain. It's been in the Midwest. It wasn't racist then. Why should it be racist now? It's in Africa. Have fun with the game! Another disadvantage is DRM, which, as always, that's nothing personal. I mean, it depends on who you're talking to. Like, for example, sometimes on launch, there'll be DRM, and then post-launch, it will be removed. Because if you don't know, the difference between the DRM version and the one without a DRM, the one game that have a DRM, the frame rate drops, while the one without a DRM, which is of course mostly crack games, the frame rate got up. I think at this point, Japanese game will always be awesome, even in my book. If you don't know, many gamers are now ditching Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League to play Batman Arkham Knight. And you can see the increased player count. I'm pretty much certain player count is what, high now? Well, let me check the player count. This is the overall player, okay? So let's look at all, see how that works. See this? It was released on June 1st, I think. This is a, it's about 10K. Yeah, dropped a slightly better, but well, right until here. This is where it shots up. Yes, it's stagnate from what, August? Just what, two months after its release date. And now if you look at this, see this? 25,000 people playing it. Let's see Suicide Squad, what's happening? Suicide Squad. Yeah, it's an all time low, but I'm pretty much certain that many Japanese games or perhaps Asian made video games have now skyrocketed. Let's try one popular game I like. Let's see you Resident Evil 4 Remake. Play this game. Here it is. Okay, it's not that bad. 100,000, 110,000. Not that bad for, for now because people are busy. Now let's check another game out. Let's try Street Fighter. Here's the recent one, 70k, okay. And this is one of the reasons why Japanese games will always be awesome. I'm guessing many of you who are watching this, you are probably ditching many Western games in favor of Japanese games. I mean, some of you miss the good old days where gaming is just a fun hobby and then it's not a political ideology. That goes same for me. I miss the good old days. Don't worry about any other footage. I will credit them. Leave a like and subscribe and uh, comment down below. Do you guys have any Asian or perhaps game made in Asia or Japan that you like? Let me know in the comments.